Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. And welcome to part 3.5 of my 2022 declutter series. Now you may be wondering why this is called part 3.5 and also why it's been so long since the last part of my declutter. And the only explanation for that one is that um I have been sitting on the footage for this video since February and I just haven't edited it. This originally was filmed at the same time as my, what did I do, it was concealer declutter clutter, brow products, my bases, all of that, they all came from the same drawer and they were all meant to be part of one video. And when I started editing it, I just felt like it was gonna be a really, really long video. I decided to do a part 3.5 and do this in a separate video where we just focus on the pigments and the liquid eyeshadows. And because I hadn't been planning for that, I hadn't filmed an intro or an ending to the video and it's taken me three months to film it. So we are here today to finally sit through the content that. I filmed three months ago. Before we jump in, if you are interested in this look, I have filmed it. I have a full face of makeup, trying a bunch of new stuff that is coming up. I am planning on having this one up first because it is almost ready to go. Literally just needs this introduction and this ending. So if you haven't already, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and that way YouTube will let you know when that video is out. And so now, after three months of patiently waiting, we're gonna finally declutter my pigments and my liquid eyeshadows. I have a little bit of a swatch party. So let's Let's jump into it right now. All right, so I've just been trying to figure out the best way to do this and I think I've got it. I've got the set of acrylic drawers here. So I'm just gonna go through these really and organize everything. I am gonna start with my Sheen Cosmetics liners. These are all the neons and then a couple of extra colors here. I am missing a yellow which is a little bit annoying. And then I have a second jar and this is all the pastels. I'm actually going to keep all of these and I think they're going to go into the top drawer. Don't know how I want to organize everything just yet. There we go, I quite like that, that's quite cute. Next, let's do my Pastel Roses pigments. I have a few in here. This shade's quite pretty. What is this? Apple pie. Mm, I'm gonna keep it. I might use it a bit more if it's actually somewhere I can find it more easily. Then this one is Autumn Love. This is absolutely stunning. It's a duo chrome. I'm gonna keep it. I am gonna get rid of this one though, which is a neon. I've already got some neon pigments, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Peacock, again, this is absolutely stunning. And then Orion, absolutely gorgeous. I have been dying to place another order from them and I just haven't gotten around to doing it, but they are absolutely beautiful and they don't cost too much money either. And then I have two of their duochrome press shadows. This one is Helix. Look at that, it's absolutely gorgeous. I've not used it in ages. And this one is Little Ghost. They look like completely different colors on camera than they do on my fingers, it's incredible. Like this one is blue and purple on my finger and you guys are seeing green. They're stunning. I don't know if they reformulated them maybe at some point or redid them. I'm just gonna leave them out for now because I don't know where I'd wanna put them away. My peaches and cream pigments. I've got Hocus Pocus, Fantasy, Gatsby, Mermaid and current mood. I'm not gonna get rid of any of these because they are stunning. My favorites are probably Mermaids. I use that all the time. Fantasy makes an incredible highlighter. Absolutely stunning. And Gatsby also I really like. The other two I haven't used as much, but I would like to get more use out of them. Um, What else is a similar format? I have a lot of these. These are all glitters from Makeup or Breakup. I have so many of them. I've got some hearts. I've got some stars. I'm not necessarily a fan of these big chunky glitters, so I don't think I'm going to keep them. Same with this one. I don't think I'm going to reach for it, so I'm not going to keep. These much finer glitters though. Oh god, some of these are not closed properly. Um, and then a couple of iridescent glitters. I think I'm going to keep those too. I'm not going to keep this larger glitter though. And then I do have this green, and I haven't done a look with it yet, so I'm going to keep all of these glitters. Do I have anything else that's going to fit in this drawer? Maybe my Kyma Cosmetics ones. These are 
incredible. They do multi-chrome flakes and they are so, so, so gorgeous. So will they fit? Oh no, they're slightly too big. <laughs> okay, right, I'll pop them in the one below. So we have Angelic, we have Rapture, and then we have Deja Vu and Euphoria. I have my Glisten Cosmetics Wet Liners. So this is their iridescent set. Will they fit in the top drawer? They might do. I'm gonna put them here in with my Sheen ones, even though they're not quite the same format. Might as well keep all of them together. Oh, I actually have two brow pomades. I've got the W7 one and an Anastasia one, which is quite new. I'm not really using them at the moment, but I'm gonna keep both of them because this one like is brand new, only used a handful of times. And this W7 one I actually really like. So they're gonna go in with the other brow products in my drawer. Next, I have quite a few sample beauty ones. What have we got? I'm gonna keep all of the more sparkly ones. So I've got Myrrh, which is a gold green. It's absolutely stunning. I've got Winter Blues, which is a lovely turquoise, and Northern Lights, which is in like a similar color family. So I'm gonna keep all of them in here. And then I also have two matte shades. I've got 2B, which is a lilac and one, which is the white. I have pastel shades in my collection now, so I'm actually gonna let this one go. And one B I was keeping around because I didn't really have a very good white eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna let this go now as well. I just don't reach for it. Oh, I've got my neon pigments actually. I almost forgot about them. I've got seven neon pigments. They are from a brand called Oh My Glitter. As far as I'm aware, they don't exist anymore. But to be fair, most neon pigments do the same thing. So I'm just gonna keep them. It would be a bit silly to go out and buy some new ones. Oh, these drawers are so small. Oh, nothing properly fits. What if I moved maybe some of my Kyma ones? Hmm doesn't really fit, does it? That's quite annoying. All of these different pots that are different formats. <laughs> Alright, let me do them here. I have a pigment from Be Perfect. This is the shade Insomnia. It's really, really pretty. And then I have a Shrine Cosmetics one. This is iridescent white. And I do like having it around. It is quite nice, um, just for like an inner corner or something to just make it look a bit more interesting. Just need to put this back in. Um, my Super Beauty Hydra Liner. This is the shade Gold Digger. I have previously gotten rid of two of my Suva liners. This is the only one I have left. And I don't think I've reached for this one since my last declutter. I just don't like the Suva formula. There's just other brands that do it better now. Sheen Cosmetics being one of them, and I don't reach for this. Um, so yeah, that's gonna go. Right now, I have two empty drawers, and I'd really like to be able to put away my liquid eyeshadows in there. So I'm gonna grab those first. And then we'll take a look at what we've got left and see if there's anything that I am going to get rid of. I've got this collection Glam Crystals. That's still looking pretty good. So I'm going to keep that one. I don't think they make all of the shades of this anymore. And I don't know why, because these were really nice and just really, really cheap. I've got the gold one. It feels a bit dry. Yeah, no, that one's gonna go. Um, I've got a Living My Best Light from Beauty Bay. This is the original packaging. This is Opal. This one's a little bit boring. This one is peach quartz. I find that one a lot nicer. I think I'm gonna get rid of opal and I'm gonna keep peach quartz. Um, I've got another collection one. This is the blue. Mm, that still seems okay for now. This is the Beauty Bay ones in the newer packaging. This is Sardonyx. So this is from the New Romantic collection. Okay, to be fair, that's quite pretty. Having the two different packages is gonna annoy me. I already know that. Um, this is a Wet n Wild Liquid Metallic Cat Suit. I think that one can probably go. Yeah, no, that's dried out. That's nice and easy. But I did really like this one and it was quite cheap. I just got this e.l.f. one and I just used it in a video. So I'm not gonna get rid of it, but can you really call this a liquid glitter? Mm, it's a little bit more boring than I thought it would be. This has disappointed me a little bit, but I'm gonna keep it because it's literally brand new. I have another elf one here. This is Black Magic. The other one was Ocean Eyes. This looks a lot nicer, but it has definitely separated. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's not particularly opaque and it's separating, so that can go. The pixie ones, love them. Some of my favorite, this is rose gold. Oh, look at that, that is stunning. I've got another Beauty Bay one here. This is 
carnelian, carnelian, I still don't know how to say that. That's quite nice as well. I just forget to use them, I'm really bad with that. The Flower Beauty Warrior Eyeshadow. These are some of my favourites. Look at that, that is incredible. I want to get the others from them actually, they're so pretty. I've got this BH Cosmetics one. That is still working pretty well so that is also going to stay queen's guard by lois cosmetics i need to get more from them again this is like look at the difference between this one from lois cosmetics and then this one from beauty bay yeah no i need more of these they are incredible and then this is the other one from new romantic I think this is meant to be like more of a multi-chrome, but I don't really see it. I think I'm going to give all these Beauty Bay ones until my next declutter. And then if I haven't used them by then, they're going to go. Pixie Lagoon. Oh, this is looking like it's starting to dry out. No, I think it's still okay. Look at that. The Pixie ones are just my favourites. Some of my favourites, rather. They are stunning. Um, I think I'm just going to take these out, actually. This isn't going to work. I'm going to put them away afterwards. We'll fast through it, fast forward through it. It'll be a lot more satisfying. Um, the Living My Best Light in Pyrite. This is probably my favourite one, to be fair. Like, that is an incredible gold. That's probably one of their best ones. So, that one I am keeping. I have these two from Rimmel. They are the Wonder Swipes. I think I've had them since we were in London. I'm sure they're about three years old. It was an interesting concept for a product. It was meant to be like either a liner or then you can smudge it and use it as an eyeshadow. And they're quite cute, but they're just a little bit old. But they were fun while they lasted. I did get some use out of them. I have another collections, Glam Crystals. I feel like this one can stay a little bit longer. It's basically an affordable version of the Pixie Crystalline. Oh, this one is just my favourite. Absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love it. I have a Sample Beauty Liquid Eyeshadow. This is one of the matte ones. This is the shade Robust. I actually really like it. Like, for a quick look for work, I'll pop this on first, blend it out, and use it as a base to intensify it like a khaki eyeshadow. And I quite like it, but I'm going to move that into my drawer and put that in with my base. I have a liquid eyeshadow from, who's this? Is this McQueen? I can't remember. This is one that I got in PR from Stylevana. It's not super glittery. It's more liquid than it is glitter, so I'm not going to keep it. Um, I have three W7 Galaxy Glam Metal Flash. I don't think these are the best. They are nice. I don't know if you can see that glitter. I normally take off the stopper to use them. I think they work a lot better. This one is a bit boring, to be fair. I might not keep this one. I think I'm just going to keep the pink and the purple. The only problem that I have with them is I do find that if I'm not careful, and I put them over the top of eyeshadow, they can remove the product underneath. And they're not, like, the most pigmented. Yeah, this one doesn't have that much glitter. The pink had a lot more. So you have to layer it on quite a bit, and then it just, um, it can remove your makeup. So you do want to be really, really careful. And then I have my two Glitterly Obsessed from Colourpop. I don't think these are going to fit. They don't. So I have no idea where they're going to live. But I'm now going to put all of these away in the drawer. there we go that was nice and easy it's not super super organized i'm wondering if maybe i should just have the elf one at the front so i feel like otherwise i am going to forget it they're not in any sort of particular order but this does seem to be more liquid eyeshadows and then this drawer is more glitters and one extra liquid eyeshadow that didn't fit in there i do think at some point i am just going to have to get another one of these i'm just going to pop these two in here oh and then i did have some pigments left okay i have three of these these are from mac there's two pigments and one glitter this is absolutely gorgeous they were in the christmas collection years ago now i can't even remember when i'm gonna put these in here and then i have two of the revolution glitter bombs i haven't used these in a while but they are absolutely stunning and i think again they've just been getting a bit forgotten in in my drawer so I'm gonna pop them in here. Do I have space for these? 
Oh, I don't. I think I'm gonna get rid of these two. They're both iridescent glitters and I think I just prefer this pigment from Sheen. So if I just pull that out now so you can see a bit more clearly, I have the liners on top. I can see all of them. I really, really like that. And then going back to the drawers, I've got the pastel roses pigments in here, the makeup or breakup ones, pastel roses, multi-chrome eyeshadows, the Shrine Cosmetics one and the peaches and cream. Then in the next drawer, I've got my neon ones. I've got my Be Perfect one, my Kyma Cosmetic and my Sample Beauty. And then we have glitters, some more pigments and then my liquid eyeshadows. Yeah, I am really, really happy with that. I've just realized I've forgotten these two. Um, they're just gonna have to go back in the drawer for now until I figure out what I wanna do with them. And then here is everything I'm getting rid of. Doesn't look like a lot this time. It does fit into a, a tiny box, but most of this is just gonna be thrown in the bin, I think, because most of it is just dried out and then the rest is just gonna go to friends. All right, guys, so that wraps up part 3.5 of my declutter. I hope as always that you enjoyed it. Now that it is three months later and I've had like this whole new system, I have to say it's been working so much better. There is so much that I had forgotten that was in my collection and I literally just have now that little acrylic set over on my bookcase with my palettes and it just makes it so much easier to find pigments. I feel like I'm using things again. So it has been really, really good to finally have it organized. I do also have part four of my declutter that is filmed that I just need to edit that is my lipsticks and my lip glosses. Yes, again, that was filmed back in February. So I should hopefully have it up soon for you guys. I literally just need to sit down and edit it. But I wanted to get this one out of the way first because it was part two of the uh, the previous one. So as always, I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for waiting patiently for this part 3.5. If you enjoyed it, then do please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of it. And if you haven't already, then do make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye guys!